Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. In this case, we are going to see management of intraoperative meiosis. In this case, the people has dilated to about 4 millimeter or 4.5 millimeter. And my plan is to use adrenaline first and see if it dilates to appropriate size. So after making the incisions, I'm going to stain the anter anterior capsule with type 1 blue dye. Now this is adrenaline. After injecting adrenaline, I'm waiting for few seconds to see if it if the people dilates to some extent but in this case the dilatation of the people was not uh, dramatic probably there is a little dilatation of about one millimeter or so but this people is elastic and because of this elasticity of these people this is midriasis by visco we can call it visco matrices and this size is okay for erexis and i am going to use a needle because if i use a uterita forceps i will touch the iris more and that touch itself will constrict the people and in that way i will not be able to do an adequate size erexis because this is needle and I am not touching the iris, I could do a uh, rexis of about 5 millimeter or 5.25 millimeter. Now, hydro dissection is done after expressing out some visco, and this is hydro dissection. And as soon as I injected uh, BSS, the uh, lens mass tilted and I thought of not repositing the lens mass I thought of emulsifying it in this position itself so I'm going to try to chop this nucleus in standing position it could make a crack and now I'm going to eat off the portion which is supra capsula and now I could crack the nucleus a little more and I'm going to let's see what has happened the people has constricted to a great extent and the size of this people is about 3 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter we can complete this case with without using people expansion device but I thought of using a people expansion device at this stage because visibility will be more and uh, it will be more safe so I'm going to use this this is a hexagonal people expansion device invented by Dr. Suven Bhattacharji of Kolkata India this device is uniplanar and it's a very thin device it can be used in very shallow anterior chamber and here it goes the leading flange is tucked under the iris and now I'm going to tuck the flange at 10 o'clock this device there are notches and flanges alternate flanges are tucked under the iris and after tucking three flanges the people takes this hexagonal shape size of this people is about 5.5 millimeter and visibility is much more now you can take all safety precautions now and I'm going to 
chop this nucleus into smaller fragments and emulsify those fragments this is Oatly Catrix 3 vacuumation and vacuum is 450 flow rate is 45 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy used is 60 percent and now cortical cleanup. By the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration, I am going to remove the cortex of the left side that is sub sideboard cortex so that I don't have to change hands. Yes, it is done. Now I come out take the bimanual irrigation aspiration irrigation goes through the right side port and aspiration cannula from the left side port and I aspirate rest of the cortex cortical cleanup is done nicely And now is the time to implant the intraocular lens. The anterior chamber and capsular bag is filled up with Visco. This is 2% ASPMC. And now a uh, single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. Yes, the lens has gone in the capsular bag and now the lens is dialed to place the haptics 90 degree away from the main incision. Some more visco and now is the time to remove the pupil expansion device. Any flash that is above the iris is held and it is all the flanges are untucked and the expansion device is just pulled out and now thorough cleaning of visco is done first I use the direct Simco cannula for some time and then the bimanual irrigation aspiration all the visco from the capsular bag is also removed and then Just see the people. It's round. There is no damage to the sphincter pipply by the device. The side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the paracentesis incisions. And now we are towards the end of this surgery. A thorough lavage of the anterior chamber is done to remove all the visco sticking to the corneal endothelium. And then the anterior chamber is formed very nicely. The integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Probably we can manage when the people constricts without using any people expansion device. But let us look at the safety of the patient. If our visibility is more the safety of the patient, safety of the surgery is more and we can predict the outcome uh, more often. So please don't hesitate to use a pupil expansion device in the middle of the surgery. If you don't have any pupil expansion device, keep iris hooks and use the iris hooks. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. 
be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and create surgical competence